If I woke up tomorrow and my entire career was gone, if I had zero certification, zero experience, and zero technical background in the middle of 2026, I wouldn't do what 90% of the gurus on this platform tell you to do. I wouldn't go back to college for four years. I wouldn't spend months memorizing outdated flashcards for five different CompTIA certifications. And I definitely wouldn't start by trying to hack NASA. The world has changed. The roadmap that worked in 2022 or even 2024 is a one-way ticket to unemployment in 2026. This industry is faster and it's more automated and the entry level gate is higher than it's ever been before. If I were starting from zero today, I would use an identity first strategy. I'd focus on the one area of security that is actually starving for talent while everyone else is fighting for the same three pen testing roles that AI is starting to automate anyway. I'm going to give you the exact step-by-step -step blueprint I would follow to go from a total beginner to a high paid professional in the shortest time possible. And look, I'm not just talking theory. I've lived this personally. I went from zero to security engineer to program manager to eventually founding CyberKai, which is now the platform where we help people land these exact roles. I've seen the mistakes that kept people stuck in tutorial hell, and I've seen the shortcuts that actually work. If I'm starting over in 2026, the first 30 days are about one thing, building a technical foundation that isn't just book smart. Most people spend way too long in the theory phase. If I had to start over, I'd grab the CompTIA Security Plus immediately. It is the industry baseline, the industry standard, period. But I wouldn't stop there. I'd pair it with the Microsoft AZ 900 and 2026. The cloud is the only environment that matters. And if you don't understand the basic infrastructure of how a cloud provider operates, you're already behind. But here is where I do things differently. While I'm getting that foundational knowledge, I'm not just watching videos. I'm building. I'm spinning up a Linux VM on my first day. I'm not reading about the command line. I'm living in it. I'm breaking things, I'm getting permission denied errors, and I'm Googling how to fix them. That disconnect or discomfort is where the actual learning happens. If you aren't feeling stupid for at least an hour a day, you aren't growing. Once I have the basics down, I'm skipping the generalist trap. This is where most people fail. They try to learn everything about cybersecurity. That is a losing game. It's too big. Instead, I would pivot immediately into identity access management or I am. Why I am in 2025 is because in 2026, identity is the only parameter that matters. Every single major breach you've seen in the news lately didn't happen because someone cracked a firewall. It happened because someone stole a password or a session token. Companies are terrified of this and they are hiring IM analysts like crazy. If I'm starting over, I'm becoming the person who knows how to manage the keys to the kingdom. I'm diving straight into the Microsoft SC300. This is a certification for identity access management administrators. I'm learning how intra ID lurks. I'm learning how to configure multi-factor authentication and conditional access policies. And then I'm going after the CyberArk Defender certification. CyberArk is the leader privileged access management space. When you have CyberArk on your resume in 2026, you aren't just an applicant, you're a specialist, right? While everyone else is fighting over SOC analyst jobs with 5,000 other applicants, I'm going to be the secret gym applicant for these IM roles where the competition is 10 times lower and the starting salary is 10,000 plus dollars higher because I have specific skills in intra and in cyber art. This leads me to my second phase of my 2026 roadmap, which is the portfolio. In this market, your resume is a piece of paper that anyone can fake with AI. Your portfolio is the only proof that matters. If I had to start over, I'd spend my weekends building projects that I could actually show a recruiter. I'm linking to a GitHub repository where I automated a security audit. I'm linking to a blog post where I've documented how I built a lab and secured privilege accounts using the principles I learned in my SC300 and CyberArk studies. You have to understand recruiters in 2026 are tired of professional students. They want practitioners. If you can show them a screen recording of you configuring an identity governance policy, you've already won the interview before it even starts. I know what you're thinking, this sounds like a lot. How do I know 
which projects to build? How do I know if I'm actually ready? This is the exact problem we solved with CyberCot. When I founded this platform, I wanted to create the unfair advantage I wish I had when I started. We don't just give you a bunch of theory videos and wish you good luck. We give you an intensive hands-on environment where you build those exact projects. We take you from zero to being a specialized professional in areas like I am and cloud security because those are the roles that are actually hiring. And also, we don't believe in the wait and see approach. If I were starting over, I'd want results fast. On average, our students at CyberCar are going from absolute zero to hired in just four months. We cut out all the fluff that the colleges and the big certification bodies used to fill time. And we focus on the 80% of skills that are actually important, that actually show up in the job description. If I had to start over today, I would stop trying to do it alone. I stop wandering through YouTube and I get on a proven path. The third phase of my roadmap is the aggressive networking phase. In 2026, the apply button on LinkedIn is a black hole for resumes. And if I'm starting over, I'm not just applying to jobs, I'm building relationships. I'm finding the people who have the job I want. And I'm asking them what their biggest pain point is. I'm sharing my projects on LinkedIn every single week. I'm making myself impossible to ignore. Look, breaking into cybersecurity isn't about luck. It's not about having a genius level IQ. If you follow a roadmap that focuses on high demand specialized skills like I am, if you build a portfolio that proves you can do the work and you stay consistent for 90 days, you will have a higher chance of landing a role within that time frame. Most people give up because they don't see results in the first two weeks. They get frustrated because they hit a technical wall and they don't have anyone to help them over it. Don't be that person. If you are ready to stop the fake progress and want to see the actual technical roadmaps I'm talking about. I'm running a free live training this week. I'm going to show you the exact 90 day strategy my students are using to beat the 2026 market and land those $100,000 a year roles in record time. I'll show you the labs. I'll show you the IM cheat code and using SC300 and CyberArk, and I'll show you how to be a part of that four month, three to four month average. Click the first link in the description down below to register now. Don't wait. The door to this industry is wide open, but it's moving fast. You can keep either watching from the sidelines or you can get in on this field and get the bag. I've shown you the path, now you just have to walk it. Follow the roadmaps, focus on identity, and I'll see you in the training. And I appreciate everybody for staying to the end and watching these videos. As always, like I mentioned, make sure you hit that first link down below. I look forward to seeing you guys in all of these free workshops and free webinars and free live trainings that we host. Uh, those of you guys that have been following my YouTube for a while, you know that we're doing YouTube Q and A. So we're doing webinars, YouTube Q and A's. We're trying to help everybody this year actually go ahead and make that leap of faith um, and get into this industry. Anybody can do this. This isn't rocket science. So all of y'all that are watching, I know if y'all y'all probably been watching me for a minute and haven't started, haven't done anything, haven't got a certification, anything. Now is the time. We are in a fresh year. Stop procrastinating. Just go out there and do. Anytime you feel like you're just sitting there, you're just on your phone or on TikTok, get up and go do something. Find something to go do. Go study something. Go do a lab. Go do something. Go figure something out. Don't just keep wasting time and wonder why you're in the same position six months and down the line. If I can do it and I know I'm not the smartest, then I know you guys can do it. Anyways, I appreciate everybody for watching. If you are new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.